When the temperature drops, so do they. They've long been a Floridian urban legend, but clearly they exist. Kamikaze iguanas plummeting from their treetop perches. I found him while searching the grounds of a Broward County golf course around 3 in the morning. Scientists say these seemingly suicidal lizards are a result of South Florida's record cold weather. The iguana prefer temperatures in the 80s and 90s. This morning at 35 degrees, this one is practically frozen in his tracks. Now these iguanas aren't actually dead. When temperatures drop below 40 degrees, their bodies go into a type of hibernation state where they essentially turn off. Once temperatures rise again above 40 degrees, they'll be revived. It's almost like they go totally to sleep. Generally speaking, if it warms up quickly afterwards, they can recover. But smaller animals sometimes will not recover. Ron McGill of the Miami Metro Zoo says the non-native iguana was introduced here by careless pet owners and has become one of Florida's most invasive species. While Florida has similar weather to the iguana's native home of South America, it's clearly not identical. McGill expects most of these lizards to survive. And while this comatose state serves as a good opportunity for environmentalists to rein in on the critter, like all good urban legends, there's a warning. I knew of a gentleman who was collecting them all in the street and just throwing them in the back of the station wagon. And all of a sudden, as he's driving down US-1, these things are coming along and crawling on his back and almost caused a wreck. In Broward County, Jonathan Vigliotti, Local 10 News.